Buba Marwa retired as being chairman of the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency for one year now. In this report, Uzuna Onoye looks through the war against illicit drugs since the 17th of January last year. One of the early revelations by the soldier who has taken his combative abilities to fight in drug trade and abuse in Nigeria was that over 15 million youths are under the influence of drugs. A larger number of those frequently arrested for trafficking in drugs and other related offenses are still those referred to as leaders of tomorrow. Popular entertainers, socialites, fake soldiers, dock workers, airline and airport staff, and even students have at one time or the other been caught in the web of trafficking illicit drugs. The vigilance of the agency within this one year revealed that everyone may have been gullible. Cakes, biscuits and cookies were found to have been compromised with dangerous substances deliberately used by the makers to disguise drug distribution. The nexus between drug trafficking and insecurity is now clearer. NDLEA chairman in his first year in office seized every opportunity to help on how those who threaten safety of the people through their activities usually patronize drugs. General Marwa insists that the task of addressing the worsening insecurity must inculcate a battle against drug trafficking. NDLEA has not focused on traffickers only. The agency believes real success in the war against drug trafficking cannot be achieved without attending to already users because if there is no demand for drugs, supply will end naturally. In 2021, over 8,000 drug users were cancelled and rehabilitated, while 12,268 were arrested, including seven barons. About 1,400 convictions were secured, and they are currently serving various jail terms. Over 3.4 million kilograms of assorted illicit substances were mocked up from different locations in the 12 months of 2021. This is more than the records of three previous years combined. We don't allow drugs to pass, Your Excellency, of all categories. Perhaps General Marwa's pace and depth in settling in as the chairman of the NDLEA could be traced to his service as the chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee for the Elimination of Drug Abuse between 2018 and December 2020. The committee developed a blueprint on how to end drug abuse in Nigeria. Buba Marwa's pedigree began to grow when, as a 36-year young officer, he was appointed the military governor of Borono State in 1990. After two years, he served as defense officer to the Nigerian Permanent Mission to the United Nations. Between 1996 and 1999, Buba Marwa was the military governor of Lagos State. Those three years have remained in the minds of many residents due to the impact of his administration in housing, education, health, and transportation. Little wonder commercial tricycles are known as Keke Marwa in Lagos, a name that has spread to some parts of the country. At the return of democracy in May 1999, General Marwa retired to business when he floated the Arbarka airline. In September 2003, he stepped down from his position as chairman, chief executive officer of the airline. In politics, the retired soldier indicated interest to becoming the president in 2007, but didn't fail to support the candidate Omar Musa Yaradua, who was preferred by the PDP. In 2011, he vowed to become the governor of Adamawa State on the platform of the CPC, an effort that was not successful. As a diplomat, General Buba Marwa was once a military attaché, Nigerian embassy in the United States capital, Washington, D.C. At different times, he also served as Nigeria's ambassador to South Africa, Lesotho, and Swaziland. On his job as chairman of NDLEA, he brought his diplomatic experience in negotiating collaborations with other institutions and individuals. The agency also works with some foreign partners and governments who have all been supportive of the new NDLEA. The current year is crucial for the agency to consolidate on the gains of the past 12 months, while rehabilitation and cutting down demands for illicit drugs to the barest minimum is key. 
it is important to see how the punitive measures for drug offenders are made commensurate with the destruction the act brings to the fiber of the society. Uzonna Ononye, TVC News, Lagos.